Hey guys, we are the Barretts. Uh, I'm Matt. What's your name? B. I'm Katie. What's your name? Jake. And this is Jake. And uh, we've been coming to my Radius. Name. Yeah, that's your buddy. Name. Yeah. yeah, that's your name. Mm -hmm. We've been no, coming to Radius for a little over two years now. Uh, since since this guy was in my belly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's been a great church home. Uh, we initially came here, you can tell your story, but we initially came here in, in my mind because we were looking for a church home. Uh, we were at a previous church that didn't feel like a church home anymore. So we went out looking for a church home and um, we went church shopping and we made it to one church. And here we are today. It also helped that some of our really good friends, the health bricks, um, attended here and their daughter is the same age as ours and actually their other child is the same age as this guy and My it was mommy. very easy to drop them off in the nursery we trusted the people caring for our kids because we already had good friends that went here and and Blake's Blake's okay <laughs> but the real superstar when you have kids is Miss Jen and uh, that that's been a huge huge aspect I'm of Radius for us is not just um, the fulfillment that we get spiritually and the community that we get but also it's, it's a great place for our kids as they walk into the place. to their home <laughs> here which is the nursery so yeah that's it's kind of how we found our way here oh what else you want? um usually not every Sunday, Blake, sorry. But most every Sunday, we're very inspired after we leave here. We are always learning stuff about the Bible that we didn't know. And we actually both grew up in churches um, and in families of a lot of ministers. So it's really surprising and also amazing every single Sunday to come out and go, wow, I did not realize that. I never thought about it that way. The connections that Blake and Amanda make are just inspiring and we always leave feeling very uplifted i second that um having a, a brother-in-law and a sister who are pastors themselves uh I, I find myself learning something every week here which is great um from blake from amanda um from the others that have gotten up and told their stories and uh, I, I like how much we get into the scripture here at radius um not just the verses but the background to it um and the music is pretty fun too. Yeah, the music isn't bad. And when those guys We're rock out. We're always late, but <laughs> we love it. <laughs> so, in the men's group, and yeah, the men's group, we're gonna. Yeah. The the men's group has been a nice addition to recently, and I, I think that's gonna be a nice aspect of the church, new aspect for me. Um, um, and maybe you can get involved with the lady stuff going forward. Oh. <laughs> Um, one of the things that I, I completely forgot, one of the things I really like about Radius um, is is the visible, tangible love. It's not just a saying here. One of the cool things I've enjoyed about Radius is that we get to see it every week when we drop off food. Uh, Pre-COVID, we used to actually get to feed. Uh, since COVID, it's been a little more challenging, but you know, dropping off food and actually um, giving back to those that are in need. I know it's just a small thing, uh, a meal, but it's one of those things that we can touch, we can feel each week. Um, and it's not just, it's not just words that are coming out in church. Yeah. So it's really cool too. It's not a church where everybody looks the exact same. Um, there's people from all walks of life here, different experiences. I mean, we had some friends here, but there's so many people who have very different backgrounds and live very different lifestyles than we do. And it's amazing to come together and worship together and know we have the same common you know, beliefs and core values as everybody else. Happy birthday, Radius. Happy birthday, Radius. Happy birthday, Radius.